Next point would be, is everything with regards to your package written down and the same as previously agreed upon? So what do I mean with by package? Package, basically like your, your um, benefits, everything that goes on top of your salary. Do you get housing? Do you get like a year of year end of contract bonus, a yearly bonus, uh, paid vacation days, sick leave, all of these kinds of things are your package. Paid airfare, uh, maybe you get like a housing allowance or you do get an apartment um, provided to you free of charge. So all of those things. Those are the, and this is very important, right? So um, typically you will have discussed this already during your interview. So now it's your time to check if it's uh, stated correctly in the contract. That's very important. One of the most important things, right? Because you will, you want to get what they promised you, right? So that's what we're going to look at now. Obviously, this always depends on, you know, the different school, different country. Um, so this is a contract, actually an uh, EPIC contract that I have here, Korea. Um, so with EPIC here, housing stipulated. So it, it says the employer shall provide the employee with a single housing chosen by the employer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Any and all fees, charges, costs, taxes, ex expenses, etc., incurred in using the housing shall be borne by the employee. So you do get free housing, but you need to pay for utilities and all of that kind of stuff. So that's important that you really read between the lines here, read the nitty gritty um, to make sure it's all the same as what you expect and what you talked about during the interview. Also, any benefits should be stated, for example, settlement allowance, medical insurance, things like that. And again, so this varies from contract to contract. There are some countries that don't give you any other benefits. Um, but in EPIC, EPIC contract, this is very standard. This is what you get in an EPIC contract. And I believe also JET has a lot of this similar stuff in Japan, the JET program. Um, but also private schools in Korea, most of them do have housing. Sometimes it's um, you can choose between housing where they give you an apartment or a housing allowance where they basically give you some money per month for your apartment. So if you don't want to live in this apartment and you want to get your own, you can get some um, a little bit of money per month to um, help with your apartment. But that also obviously needs to be stipulated. And so that's why I put here, check this very carefully. Um, some more examples like paid leave, right? How many vacation days do you get? Is that the same as what they promised you in the interview? Also sick leave, what does that look like? Um, and obviously if there's something that doesn't match up with what they told you before or with, or you don't, you have questions, you don't understand something, always ask, right? Always ask, um, ask as much as you can before signing the contract. And even like, like what we talked about before, if it's all like, always have someone read the contract. Um, like a family member, a friend, someone have them read the contract also and, you know, give you feedback if it's a legit contract. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.